Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Lindsay. And this is the Game Forum's first impressions of the Marvel's Avengers Open Beta. As with all of our uh, first impressions, we only get two hours to play the game and can't talk to each other about it until this video. So that being said, what were your overall impressions of this game, Zach? I, so I had a lot more fun than I was expecting to have with it. Uh, like, okay, well, first, first impressions, just first initial impressions. This game looks a lot better than I was expecting. Yes. Like the, I, it was super like, uh, like the particle effects looked really good. The, that bridge mission was like, that was kind of awesome. Like really fun. No, it, was, the, it was very cinematic. I think it yeah. was very well done in that aspect. Um, I would almost say to the point of being like overly cinematic because like really? I'd, I'd start getting into something and it's like, here's a, here's another thing. And I get it's the opening of the game and the rest of the game yeah. probably won't play like this, but it was literally every five seconds up oh, computers taking over. This is a cut scene, cut scene, cut oh, scene, yeah. cut scene. I'm like, I just want to play a little. Let me, let me get the feel for this. Yeah, yeah, I did notice that too. I didn't really mind it because I wasn't expecting it to be as cinematic and, you know, like as it was. I was expecting like just waves of enemies even though it kind of is, but that the combat was it's it's kind of fun. I I like the that all the characters kind of feel the same starting out and you know like the the square buttons are the same for everybody, the triangles the same. But then if you look at the skill tree, it's like, oh, you can make these characters like really customized to your play style. And one thing I don't know if you noticed or if you knew this on the beta, you know, there's that one skill. There's that skill set for the, those three different uh, whatever trees you can do for a character. Yeah, there's three pages total, but of every character, but they don't they're only allowing the first page. So there's two more swaps of three fresh skill trees. OK, yeah, no, I didn't know that. Um, so there, there's a, definitely a lot to that. One thing I didn't really like in this game is like the uh, shooting mechanic, especially for like Iron Man, felt kind of clunky. Like the lock on system, like it did, they didn't stay locked on. It felt like. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that's because it's going to be multiplayer, so that like the the latency is going to be really bad when it comes to that and. This is also Crystal Dynamics' first like foray into a uh, live service multiplayer game. They did a multiplayer mode for one of the Tomb Raiders, but that you know, that's completely different. But I mean, I, I was really surprised. I don't think I want to pick it up on launch just because there's there's too many other games that I'm interested in coming out. But I imagine if they were to add, let's say, Doctor Strange, you know, which eventually they will. I think I'll like yeah I'm hopping in because like Doctor Strange is the one Marvel character that I really like and so yeah. but but that but that got me excited like oh man you know they could drop a character which will be free and then like oh yeah I'll hop in so it I, I had fun with the beta I definitely am going to play some more and uh, I'll play more next weekend but I mean the like the voice acting was good I actually kind of liked the characters they felt like their own version of the Marvel characters and I know they got a lot of crap because. Like, oh, Thor doesn't look like Thor. Iron Man doesn't look like Robert well, Downey it, Jr. It wasn't even just like that. Like, the faces on the character models when they first showed this off did not look very good, period. Yeah. Like, it didn't just not look like the characters from the movies. It just looked wonky. And I feel like they yeah. went back and, like, did more to touch up those faces. Like, they looked really good in this one where that initial trailer... They just look kind of flat, almost like the the Mass Effect Andromeda faces or something. Ooh, yeah. So I definitely yeah. feel like they've polished this one up a bit uh, since then, and I'm definitely that, happy they did. That probably was why it was delayed from, what, May until September? Yeah. So that was a good call, though, because what I played was pretty good. Uh, I know with a live service, you know, it's like, oh yeah, it's all well and all. It looks good and feels good, but is there a lot of content? And from what we've seen on the little war table presentations they've done, it looks like there's going to be a good amount of content. You got to imagine this is a Marvel property. They are going to make sure that this game is like well fed. Yeah. You know, they're going to keep content coming. They're not going to leave it hanging. Um, 
So I mean that has me excited. I feel like it would be it's it's a good buy. I was I definitely am not like I wouldn't be surprised if it came out and people like drove to it because it is kind of like I found it really satisfying to play. Like the combat felt pretty good. Hulk's like destruction was unexpected. I wasn't because like on the bridge, like you're just destroying that bridge. I, I and, love uh, how when he runs forward, if there's a car in the way, he just like shoves it out of the way. And yeah, the dude, environments the jumping, are way more destructible yeah. than I thought they would be. Yeah, and uh, like the, the Hulk jumping felt so fun. And then Thor's, you know, when you throw the hammer and you can call it back, I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, did you happen to play uh, as Kamala Khan? Did you get that far? Yes, uh, I didn't get to finish her arc, but I played as her for just a little bit. Uh, th- her moveset is like insane. Yeah, no, she's like, like really fast. Yeah, and, like, how you can, like, you pull the trigger, and she, like, grows, you know, three times the size, and I'm like, dude, and, like, if, if all the characters, including the ones that are, you know, haven't been released yet, are, like, this nuanced, then they they got a, a solid hit on their hands, unless there's, like, unless the story is just crap, but I can't, it's Crystal Dynamics, you know, they made the Tomb Raider games, how, how they can't mess up the story, that's, that's what, literally what they're, like, good at. Yeah. No, like the uh, the opening of it, I think was pretty cool. I'd like a little bit more explanation of what's going on, but I get that they're yeah. trying to build a mystery, and then I take it the whole story will be spent like you know explaining what's happened and you know getting uh, everybody back and getting everything back to normal. Um, but I mean, it was almost had like an X-Men style to it as this is causing mutations in people. And now all these people are getting all these random yeah. powers and stuff. I'm like, eh. that that's like, that could introduce the X-Men. Yeah. You know? I mean, something like that they could totally do in the, uh, the live action movies to introduce X-Men. Um, yeah. so, I mean, that, that was pretty interesting. Um, I'm definitely... I definitely am down for the story that they're laying out. Um, yeah. Only thing I kind of wonder, though, is, like, I think this is going to be a really fun, like, first playthrough. But yeah. how is this going to be as far as, like, continuous missions to keep you coming back over and over and over and over again? Yeah, and I can't remember exactly, but there was, there's the harm rooms, which are like quick 15 minute little wave based things to get you some XP, you know, kind of like a quick grind. There's the story missions and then there's like co-op missions. And then I think there's one other thing that is like a, a longer kind of like a strike and destiny type thing. Mm-hmm. So it seems like there's going to be a good amount of content uh, at launch. I don't, with it being a live service, like, you're better off waiting a few months to, you know, because, like, really, when a live service game comes out, you're just, it's technically early access. You know, the game's not going to be finished or full until uh, at least a couple months down the road. So, it's, it's this game looks promising. It felt fun. It looked cool. But I, I would, I'm probably going to pick this up in maybe, like, September or January. Or not September, December or January. I feel like that'd be a... You know, nothing really major comes out then. Because this would be a fun, like, pick-up-and-play game. Yeah, I'm like I said, this one, I'm definitely interested in the story mode aspect of it. It seems like it's got a really solid story. Um, and I'm curious to see what they do and how they explore it. Um, I don't think I will be picking this one up at launch either. I'm already trying to play through a ton of things right now. And it didn't yeah. really pull me into the level of, like, oh, my God, shut up and take my money. I have to play this yeah. immediately. But exactly. it does it does look a lot uh, better done than I was assuming it would off those first couple of trailers, which is good. I mean, I, I'm a big, you know, Avengers fan. I've seen all the movies. I like, you know, seeing all the behind-the-scenes comic stuff. Um, and this game at first just did not wow me at all. I'm still not, like, super excited for it, but, I mean, it's... You know, my, my expectations going into this game were pretty well at, like, a 2, and then after yeah. playing some of the game, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm back up at like a seven. I'm like, That's exactly where I'm at. Yeah, about about a seven, maybe seven and a half. You know, I'm not like, you know, just just you know, I can't wait for this game to pl- come out so I can play it 24 hours a day. 
but it does seem like it's got some cool stuff going on with it, and I would uh, enjoy playing it. Um, but I, I will probably be like you. I will probably wait a little bit to uh, get in there and you know jump in and play it. And hopefully by then they'll have a lot of the bugs out um, and have a lot more content added in. And to their defense, I had no bugs at all playing this. Everything was flawless, and even with you know, a ton of destruction going on with the Hulk and, you know, seamlessly swapping from character to character. Um, I mean, everything went super smooth. And I'm using, you know, I'm still using the original PlayStation 4. Yeah, performance-wise, uh, there was no lag, no frame drops or anything like that. But there was one section where you play as Kamala Khan and you're, like, in a room looking at, I don't, I don't know, they're, like, artifacts from... Like Tony Tony Stark's guitar was in there. There was some. Did you ever get to that room? Uh, I think that was like right where I stopped because my time ran out right around where the uh, artifacts you're talking about are. Okay, when I went into that room, I, nothing was loading. Like none, of, I could see the artifacts, but it wouldn't let me click on it. And then I restarted checkpoint, came back, and then the icon popped up for me to do that. But that that's like, I mean. That's fine. That happens in games that are released. You know, this one's not even out yet. Although it does come out in like three weeks. So yeah, I don't. I don't know why they're calling this a beta. This is definitely not a beta, but it, it's a demo, realistically, or early access. But it's you can't call it a beta if your game ships in literally three weeks. But I mean, you know. Well, I mean, I definitely think it would have been more fair to call it just a demo. Um, yeah, and. From what they've sent out of the game to play, it definitely seems like this might have been designed with this kind of element in mind to yeah. you know, get people to experience a bunch of different heroes, give them a little taste of the story, um, and kind of start seeing how everything works. Now, one thing I have seen that I don't quite like about the game is all the upgrades that you do to your characters are non-cosmetic. Uh, cosmetics yeah. are fully locked behind um, a different system, and it looks like a lot of that system is going to be pay. Now, I don't really care that, you know, cosmetic stuff is locked behind you know a paywall. You know, I'm like, I'd much rather have that than have it to where... Oh, if you want to level the Hulk up to the next level, you got to buy some credits or open some loot boxes. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, one of the big things that keeps people playing these games, like Destiny, is there's always new gear to get, new stuff to upgrade. And it's like the look of some of the stuff. You know, you can see some somebody who's been playing the game forever and... You know, they've got all these cool, you know, weapons and outfits and all this stuff. I mean, they walk over there and they're, like, on fire or have, like, fireworks launching from their shoulders or something. Yeah. And I kind of feel like this game isn't going to do that the way they have it set up. I mean, you can go through and have, like, a level 100 Iron Man or something, but he's going to look aesthetically exactly the same. But then you're going to have someone who spent $20 to get, like, you know, alien wear suit Iron Man and has neon all over him, but he's still, like, a level one and, and you know, can't beat a standard grunt. So, I mean, I get what they're going for as far as, like, trying to balance it out in the pay system, but I don't know how that's going to go for, like, long-term replayability for people who, you know want to unlock stuff because that's like a big thing that keeps me coming back to games is yeah. man that's really cool i want that i'm gonna play until i earn that um and you know the story behind certain things you know going back to destiny if you saw someone with a certain helmet that you could only get through completing a raid you're like oh my god you know that guy went through did all that stuff and he got lucky enough to get that helmet you know, that's a lot of work to get that helmet. And there that element's kind of missing from this game. So I'm wondering if that's going to hurt it more in the long term. But I do have to say, though, like the initial combat system and stuff in the game was pretty fun. 
Although, again, the lock, the lock-on system and the uh, aiming for long-range attack system, I think, could use a little bit of work. Yeah, it, it definitely felt like it was a little wonky, um, especially the the flying sequence with Iron Man. It was a little hard to like hit the robots and stuff. Um, I I kind of like Black Widows. It felt like it was it was okay. The but then again, like. Her ranged uh, sequences, you're still pretty close to the enemy, so it, it felt easier to lock on and stuff. But, um, oh, I mean, I don't know. What does that have to kind of sit on it and play a little more? Um, I'm definitely going to play some today uh, after we get done recording. I think next weekend is the last uh, beta weekend that they'll have, so I'll definitely play a little more then. Um, yeah, I mean... It's a, it's, I would, if I were to score it based off of the first two hours, I'd say like, yeah, this is probably going to get like a seven out of 10 for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of how I'm feeling about it. Like it's, yeah. it's fun. I think it's got a lot of potential, um, but it's just not groundbreaking enough to make me just want to go out and throw my wallet at the PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely, I, I can imagine a lot of like younger adults that are you know, super into like superheroes or the marvel movies and stuff could be like get this and you you could have a decent amount of content for you know a longer time and this is probably going to introduce a lot of people to the live service model which may or may not be good depending on how they actually like you know do it and stuff so that'll be interesting to see how well this actually goes yeah um i guess that's about all we got for this game uh, yeah. Tell us in the comments down below what you think about uh, Marvel Avengers. Until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.